Dear Lindau participants, dear Nobel laureates, good morning to all of you. First of all, I would like to congratulate the young scientists from all over the world who have been selected to participate in this unique meeting at the beautiful Lake Constance. You have worked hard and exceptionally well to attend this conference, and I wish you fruitful discussions and many, many new ideas and inspirations to continue your research. As one topic of your meeting is on gene modification, I was offered the opportunity to speak to you about my views and visions around the CRISPR-Cas9 gene editing technology, and I am delighted to share them with you. Originally deciphered by our laboratory, the defense mechanism CRISPR-Cas9 of the bacterium Streptococcus pyogenes has proven to be simple and yet sophisticated in a way such that we are able to harness it as a versatile technology you know today for the precise modification of any DNA sequence in living cells, plants, animals or human cells. This refers to publications from my laboratory in the years 2011-2012. Since then, CRISPR-Cas9 has transformed the field of life sciences. Research on the technology to develop innovative applications has been followed all over the world. CRISPR will most certainly have a deep effect in biotechnology, agriculture, and especially medicine. The technology has so far been perceived very positively by scientists and the public alike. However, as with any new technology that is developed so fast, CRISPR-Cas9 also raises many concerns about its safety and about ethical rightfulness to modify genes to such an extent. Especially when it comes to editing the human germline, the effects of which we can never erase. Where do we draw the line? I would like to argue that we need to go forward with innovative research, especially in human medicine, not for the enhancement of humankind, but to better understand the fundamental mechanisms of life. Nevertheless, it is our responsibility as scientists, and especially yours as the next generation of gifted and talented thinkers, to make sure that the technology is applied safely and in strongly regulated frameworks. Your ambitions will shape tomorrow's world. Be curious, be passionate, but also be wise. I am very curious about your views in this regard and hope to hear back from you one way or the other. Enjoy your meeting. Goodbye.